off with. Uh, this is, in your notes, D, amorphous solids. Um, it, this is a, there are, we're talking about the, the true solids, the real solids, um, when we were talking about crystals. All of them are made of crystals. And I did a lot of stuff on crystals, and your lab today will be on crystals, um, for the most part, and other things. And I'm going to give you a little bit of time to look over that stuff before we start the lab, okay? Um, I'll, I'll tell you also what you're going to... I already did say a little bit yesterday what you'd expect in the lab, but I have more time today because you have a double deer class. I spent more time talking about the lab because um, uh, they only have a single. All right. um, but we did not talk about something called amorphous solids. And I always like to start us off with because people don't, do not know what the word morph means. You've heard it. You hear it all the time. You hear it in, in TV, uh, in movies, in computer games, morphing, right? And everybody thinks it means the same thing. What does morph mean? Change. Everybody says change. They all say change. And it doesn't mean change. Morph means shape. So morphing means, when you talk about that, like morphing in, in a computer game or in a, even in a special effect on, in a movie, is changing from one shape to another shape. All right, that's, that's what morph does not mean change. It means shape. All right, you get that from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and all that stuff. I'm sure that was a big thing for you guys. You know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which was your favorite ranger, Marie? Not the pink one. Not the pink one. I appreciated that. Yeah. Why? Did you like the pink one? Uh, no, that's because they, they try and um, with the genders, and I just feel it's nice that she goes against the stereotypes. Okay, there we go. We have no, we are not going to stereotype based on color here. Not color. Pink, color. green. Purple, blue. What were the colors of the Power Rangers? Uh, anyway? I don't know. There was a red one. There was a blue one. Red. Pink. There was a red one. Yeah, yeah. Was that a white one? Was that a white one? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because the one would always leave and come back as a gold ranger. Yeah. A gold ranger. Yeah. Yellow. There's a yellow one. The yellow one was always Asian too. Uh, I think they were. I hate to tell you, but they had masks. They were all Asian, I think, really, <laughs> under the masks. They just used American actors for the other part. Because didn't that come from Japan? Wasn't it? Didn't that start in Japan? I think Everything crazy started. <laughs> and uh, I think they're all. <laughs> anyway, uh, amorphous solids. Hey, what does A mean in front of something? Uh, not. So, no shape. These guys are solids, but they don't have a true crystalline structure. They have no true shape. All right? And there are some, uh, there are some uh, consequences to that. I'm going to show you uh, a guy who has no true crystal structure. Can you think of stuff that, unlike uh, real solids that all have a definite melting point, can you think of something that you use every day, so food even, that uh, instead of having a specific temperature which it melts at, it actually just gets softer and softer and much? Uh, peanut butter. Okay, peanut butter would be, I guess, one of the example of one. Marshmallow. What else? A marshmallow, perhaps. Chocolate. Chocolate butter. These things don't have true crystal structures. You know, if I put a butter out in the refrigerator or a freezer, it's, 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 it's very hard. But if I leave it on the counter, it's softer. If I put it on the stove, it doesn't have a temperature at which, like, can I do that with uh, an ice cube or an ice icicle? If I had an icicle, it would have ripped off the roof. And I were to warm them up, could I just slowly bend the icicle? No, it's just going to melt and turn into a liquid. Yeah, so that's a problem. That, that's what real solids do. They have a specific temperature below which and above which that temperature, they're either solid or a liquid. But amorphous solids, they have no definite melting point. They just get softer over time. Plastics, butter, things that you just mentioned pretty much probably all fit into that category. Okay? And I got one, I got a little demo for you, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. I know. I'm going to have, um, I think what I'll do is I'll make a, my little, put that light on for me. Uh, and I think with this small of a group, we probably can even gather around. Um, by the way, here you can write those. Things. Oh, did I write the examples? Uh, here, the example should have been the things I just mentioned: butter, plastic, and this stuff, which I want to show you. Okay, move it up here. And uh, is that high enough? Not really. I want it to be higher. Should we come up? Yeah. Gather around, children. I was supposed to say it last time. Yeah, you did. You have to get up so you can see something. Garrett, come back here. 
Thank you. All right, what I'm going to do is take some of this stuff. It's called sodium silicate water glass. All right, it's actually sodium silicate is a solid, and it's dissolved in water. It dissolves in water well. I'm going to add about oh, two thirds or so of this water, right, just distilled water, and I'm going to add some of this stuff to it. You notice how thick it is? It's almost like caro syrup if you've ever seen caro syrup. Um, it's pretty thick. Okay, you can see the pattern. Now, it doesn't, I have to mix it up a little bit, so I will. Are you trying to get on camera? Yep. I knew it. Get back. A lot. Yeah, you can't share the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Now, by the way, it's called water glass because this is basically the stuff that's in glass. I mean, it's, it's, it's um, diluted. All right. It's also used for um, glue to hold things together like cement and uh, different things like uh, craft glue. Um, not craft mac and cheese. They use a different thing. Not glue. They don't use. They don't what? They don't use glue and craft mac and cheese. Believe it or not. Wow. No. Actually, it's funny. There are some things. Common you, it's common. Yes. Uh, most people do think that. Um, they actually are some things you can eat that this is in. I, I, it's used as. Um, I forget what it's used as. But I think I, I was looking it up, and there are some things that you can actually eat. I wouldn't recommend it. <clears throat> it is an irritant. And I'm sure it's not in high concentrations, but still. Everybody good with that? You okay, Michael? No. Michael's not okay. I keep trying to sneeze, but it sounds like it just sounds funny. <laughs> Who's not here today? Everybody's not here today. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Well, all right, let's That's put this up closer. Check this out. It's a little cloudy for my taste, honestly. Uh, it's usually clearer than this. But I'm going to add some stuff in here. Some different chemicals, and you may have seen this as a kid. Okay. Watch, you watching? They dropped a whole bunch of things in here. Anybody remember having one of these as a kid? No. Well, you'll see what happens to it. <laughs> oh, I think I know what you're going to do. Watch what happens. Watch what's going to happen to this guy. It's a little cloudier than I want it to be, but um, you should still be able to see it. Take, get closer. You have to kind of get close to see it. What are they doing? Actually, tell me what they're doing. Something. They're disintegrating. No. No, they're growing. They're, they're growing. growing. Actually, no, they're not. Like, yes, they are. Right. Look. Yeah, look at the orange, orange one. See that orange one? Well, no, I don't see that. Like, 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 not, not those sponges, but <laughs> we're looking at uh, Crystal oh, Garden. That's Remember that? The best. Yeah, that's it's pretty the best cool. Thing that he ever best thing ever. Yeah. Nothing yeah. better than this. Yep. That's pretty mm -hmm. awesome. Did you, did you look Can you see them growing? What? They're gonna get bigger. They're gonna keep growing. I thought that was the ghost awesome. crystal. They kind of like well, um, whatever, the ghost crystal, crystal was pretty cool. You gotta admit that. What They're growing that? a little slow though, for my taste. Like I said, it could have been a little clearer. I don't know why this stuff is a little. Yeah, it shouldn't be that. I use water glass. It's not just water. But they are gonna grow. And uh, water glass. Well, glass is another example. You should write that one down of an amorphous solid. Okay, right there. Go have a seat. No, we'll continue yeah, with write, this. That write that down. Write that down. Oh, look at that one growing. He's Sorry. growing right in front of the camera Sorry. there. See ya. I want you to see that one. Look at it growing. Can you see it growing? How big are they going to get? It's like, it's like an undersea world. Watch. And after a while, it looks like that. It really does. It does look like coral. Yeah, it looks like coral. Who's coral? I don't know her. <laughs> Turn that front light off for me. <laughs> that was funny. All right. Now we will, uh, I'll show you that again in a little bit. We'll put it down for here for right now because we have some other stuff I want to show you. This is if you don't have to gather around. For I know, I know. Um, so y'all wrote those down. Glass, uh, butter, plastic are all examples of um, amorphous solids. Now, I have a, a the other, these are, by the way, just little catch things I got to do before we, we finish on uh, solids and liquids. Another thing I want to show you is really kind of cool is something called seeding or nucleation. Okay? I'm going to show you this. It's kind of cool. Actually, right now it's very cool. Put the light on again. All right. Um, I'm holding this right now. It's kind of cold. It's in cold water. And I'm going to do something to that. 
And uh, you know what? I guess I probably could have had you stay up here because you might want to see this up close and personal. Yeah, come on up. It's pretty cool. You ready? Watch this. Now, if you look at this guy, look carefully at him. I'm going to do him up close by the camera. Can, you, can the camera, camera see yeah. that? Okay. Perfect. Check this out. This is pretty cool. This is a single crystal of sodium thiosulfate. And this, these are sodium thiosulfate crystals that I melted and then cooled down below where they should have frozen again. So they're like super cool. Like me, I'm a super cool guy. This is a super cool liquid. It should have turned back into a solid, but it didn't have anything to freeze around. Now, when I drop one single crystal in the middle, it's called seeding, watch what happens. Boop, it just stops right there. What? <laughs> and what? Oh, froze. It's going on. Look at, look, look, at it. look, get close, get closer there. That is cool. Look at that. Pretty cool. And actually, it's not cool. It's hot. hot. This is the freaky part about this. Want to know how freaky this is? How freaky? It was cold a minute ago. Here, feel this one. What does that feel like? Cold. Same one, right? Just got cold. cold, 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 right? Can I touch it? Feel that one. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yep. I mean, how, how, it it Here. how did it freeze if it's, it's hot? hot as me. It's hot. <laughs> All right, have a seat. Let me talk about that. Why did it get hot? And what was that called? It's called seeding. What is it? Turn light back off again. Well, first of all, let's talk about what happened, and then we'll see if we can explain it. Wait, Mr. Allen, all that was in the bottom of the cast tube prior to you dropping this. The only thing in there? I, I, I'm going to go over all that. Copy that down. I'm going to go over the whole thing again and explain it, because I think it went pretty quickly there. But it is pretty awesome. They should call it super awesome instead of super cool liquids. So I, I cooled, here's what, uh, after you copy this, basically it's a spontaneous and rapid phase change, in this case a liquid to a solid, initiated by a single particle. Um, let me show you again. Here's what I did. I took these same crystals. Where did I put them? Where did I put them? What did you do? Here they are. All right. Um, I took these same crystals. I dumped them into a test tube like this. Put them into a beaker like this one of water and, and heated it up until those crystals in here melted. And that's what I have. Melted crystals right there. Right? Those melted crystals were hot. And that's why they melted. They are above their melting point. I then put them in cold water and let them sit there over the last couple of hours. They cooled down, but they didn't freeze. Because they didn't have anything to freeze around. They needed something to start forming that crystal around. And so I added a single crystal into there, and guess what? It froze immediately, all right, because it had something to freeze around and, and grow that crystal lattice around. Now, anybody know another place where we've heard the word seeding? I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but they actually do what's called, in, sometimes in western states, they used to do cloud seeding. You ever hear of cloud seeding? Trying to make it rain. Is that when they drop dry ice in the clouds? Well, I, I don't exactly know what it is that they drop in the clouds. I should have looked that up. That was dumb. But they do drop, uh, what's at the center of pretty much every raindrop? Rain. Steam. Steam like and water. rain. Like no. A piece of dust. Right. Some particle for the droplet of water to form around. Usually water. dust or something like that. And so uh, it, it, what you do is they would spray uh, some chemical. I don't know what it is. You say dry ice. I don't think so, but it could be most likely, uh, I thought it was like uh, silver iodide or, or silver yeah, chloride or something like that. Guess. Good second guess. <laughs> uh, and what it does, it gives something for the water to drop with the form around. To, if, there's, if there's a lot of humidity in the air, you can actually get it. You can't get it to rain if it's completely dry anyway. But if there are clouds, you, it's called cloud seeding. You can seed the clouds and possibly get it to rain. Um, uh, it's not an exact science. And I don't even know if they still do it, but they used to be done. And... Um, but the point is, either of those are examples of seeding, because it's a rapid phase change. In the case of a cloud, you're turning it from a vapor into a liquid. And the case of this one was a liquid to a solid. Now, let's get to the second part of this. Why, as Katie noted, I think it was Katie, said, well, how is it freezing if it's getting hot? I use this as an example right now, and I'm going to use it again in the future when we start talking about phase changes. Keep this one in mind, especially, because it's going to blow your mind. But turning something from a liquid to a solid, is that an endothermic or an exothermic reaction? Normal case circumstances, for you put water into a freezer, 
What is that water doing in order to freeze? It's releasing energy, isn't it? Remember this? Remember when we talked about endo versus exothermic back in chapter one? This is one of the questions you got wrong because of this. All right, because it's confusing. When water turns to ice, it gives off energy. You said, no, it doesn't. It doesn't feel hot, because that's what most things that give off energy feel hot. It gives off energy, but it gives it off at a temperature below your body temperature, so you don't feel it. Here's an example of a guy giving off energy as it froze, but it's happening at a temperature above your body temperature. I think it's like 58 degrees around the, the, the freezing point of this guy. So you actually feel the heat being given off. Turning something from a liquid to a solid, and I will go into more detail on this when we get a chart on this. I'm gonna. This is what the rest of this chapter is on. I'm done talking about solids and liquids today. It took me three days. I'm gonna do a lab on it in a little bit. We're done talking about solids and liquids. What am I gonna spend the rest of my time talking about? The change between them, solids and liquids and gases. All right, and that's gonna be a big deal. Keep this demo in mind. It got hot when it froze. Doesn't seem to make sense. A lot of other people got wrong. Boiling water. Is boiling water endo or exothermic? Most people say exothermic because exothermics feel hot. Is boiling water endo or exothermic? Why? Because you have to add energy to get water to boil. You see what I'm saying? Even though it happens to feel hot, it's happening at a temperature above your body temperature. That's why it feels hot. But that's the difference. That's what's confusing about this. All right, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Now, I think that's all the notes I have to give you. I got one more. Yeah, I got, we're going to do that next time. I got one more thing to tell you though, I'm not gonna leave the camera on tonight. That's